Welcome to the weekly update. As you may have seen from the Board of Education meeting on Tuesday night, the vacant seat on the Board of Education will remain open until the May 16th election. The three candidates that receive the highest number of votes will be seated and begin three-year terms on July 1st, 2023. The candidate with the fourth most votes will be sworn into office and serve the remaining term of the vacant seat ending June 30th, 2025. Candidate packets are available to be picked up in the district office. If you're interested in serving on the Board of Education, please contact Lynn Carey, the district clerk, by calling 716-626-8092 or emailing lcarey at williamsvillek12.org. Candidate packets are due by April 17th. This week for Women's History Month, we shared a video project on the life of Judy Human, who is often referred to as the mother of the disability rights movement. As a child, she contracted polio and lost her ability to walk. In college, Judy studied to be a teacher and passed her exams. However, the New York Board of Education refused to give her a teaching license because they were afraid she could not get herself or her students out of the building in the event of a fire. She sued the Board of Education and became the first teacher in New York State to use a wheelchair. Learn more about Judy Human and her advocacy for disability rights in the video project we shared on social media and the weekly newsletter. A reminder that there are two comment periods now open. One is for the amended district safety plan, the other is for the updated information and use of foundation aid. Please review these documents and share your feedback. Send safety plan feedback to contact at williamsvillek12.org. For foundation aid, please email ARP comment, that's A-R-P comment, at williamsvillek12.org. Detailed information for both items were Wix mailed and are also available on the district website. Don't forget, the next speaker series is Monday, March 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the KC Middle School Auditorium. Kids Escaping Drugs will have two parent presentations. The first is face-to-face, -face, a vaping presentation, and the second is on the dark side of social media. If you're unable to attend in person, the district will be streaming this event on a Zoom webinar. Information on how to view it was sent through Wix and is also available on the district website. I want to give a special shout out to Shahab Sarkar, a student at Mill Middle School who will represent Mill and the district in May at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Shahab participated in the regional bee for the first time and won to advance to the National Spelling Bee. We are incredibly proud of him and look forward to cheering him on. Over the course of the year, our students have accomplished so many incredible things. It's great to see the incredible work that takes place in the district and share it with our school community. Finally, I want to once again share that our thoughts and prayers are with the Leatherborough family. Mrs. Teresa Leatherborough was a loving, kind, and steadfast advocate for education, ensuring the very best for the district and community. Her leadership will be greatly missed. Please enjoy the weekend and we'll see you next week.